I want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, we got a real treat. Instead of showing you a car, we're going to show you a boat. This is on a beautiful lake, Lake Fontaine. This is uh, in Tennessee, North Carolina area in the mountains. It's a TVA lake. And we're going to be taking a look at a, at a really interesting uh, opportunity for somebody. This is a, uh, they call these pocket trawlers. And the reason they, talk, they call it that is because it's a displacement hull. And if you're not a nautical type person, what that means is it's not designed to plane on top of the water like a speedboat. It's designed, the hull is designed to be in the water, kind of like a tugboat. And a trawler is designed to be able to give you the comforts of home, but give you an opportunity to live along the way. So this is uh, 24? 24 feet. 24 feet long. And uh, what makes it unique is you've got this nice cabin in here that you can do whatever you need to do, like on an RV, but it's powered with a very economical uh, motor back here. The designer designed this trawler so it could be trailered, and there is a 50 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke engine. You don't have to mix the gas with it, the gas with the oil and all that. But what a great way to go. Uh, the owner is going to walk us through this a little bit and show us uh, what makes this so unique. And, uh, and this is a rare boat. Uh, he looked for a few years before he found this one. But the idea is you can live on this. And it burns about a gallon and a half, something like that, an hour. It's a, it's a, uh, a outboard motor which keeps the noise and everything behind it because it's four cycle. It's very quiet. And, it's, and it just sips right along. But of course, you're gonna be going at trawler speeds. So what would be a typical cruise if you're cruising? Well, you could cruise it down the Tennessee River. Yeah. Go all the way to Chattanooga and beyond. Okay. And it's it's a great boat if you wanted to cruise it down the Gulf of Mexico. Sure. You could. And uh, a lot of people have done the loop in them. And That's the way you go all the way through the Great Lakes and all that? Yeah. And it's a great boat for the Chesapeake. In mm -hmm. fact, it's designed after the Chesapeake Sharpie, which is a okay. very popular boat okay. in that area in the early 1900s. Okay. It has a flat bottom. Okay. It has a built-in gas tank. All right. It has a built-in water tank. Okay. It has a, a, a water pump. Okay. Uh, and uh, in the back here, of course, it has the the table. Yeah, I was going to just step inside here. I see you got this beautiful varnished wood. And as we come in here on the, on the okay, I'm going to say left, that would be uh, port side. Yeah. Okay, I think I got that right. You can see it right back here that this uh, is now configured to be a table where you can have your meals. But that will also fold flat down and makes into another bunk. Yeah. A berth there. And there's a short pump over on this side. And over here you got another one. Uh, a short person can okay. sleep there. Okay. Uh, it's wide enough. It's not real comfortable. And both of the bunks have uh, lights above. Oh, yeah, back in here. And I can see that you've got the portholes back here too. Yeah. And you have the uh, custom screens that fit in here. So if you need those open on a summer day and you want to keep the little skeeters out. Now in here, this is a necessity. You, the, the head, it's an electric head, is that correct? Right. Okay. It's an electric head and uh, it's never been used. Okay. Uh, and you can also hang your clothes in there. Okay, too. all right, so that can take care of you there. So we've got a place to eat, got a place to sleep. Over here, tell me about this. Well, this, this is the place where the fry on the head of a stove. Okay. But there's a stove, an electric uh, stove that okay. goes in here. Right. And it's a stove that's not made anymore, and I still have the stove. If okay. You put it in there. Or you could put an ice box in there. Okay, got that. Got that. All righty. And then down below here, this is storage. Yeah. Below here, and these have these special uh, marine type locks so that when you're underway, these won't fly open on you. Right. Okay. And, uh, and then next to this, I'll move my camera bag out of the way. And over a, here, we have a new faucet. That comes oh yeah, out. okay. And then we also have the uh, little sink down here. 
Okay. Very good. All righty. That's that, great. That works with the uh, switch turned on. Okay. Now I'm looking over here on the other side, and uh, this is the helm. So you have your control over here. This this is how you uh, operate the speed of your uh, of your, yeah. your your engine, your your outboard there, and then you've got your marine radio down here, VHF. And then uh, I notice you've got a Garmin, so you've got your navigation. Got that on there, okay. And then over here, you've also got a depth finder. Well, that's a that's a tachometer. Oh, okay. Oh, this is. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was a depth finder. All right. And then I noticed below here. Well, the tachometer is yep. less than 900 hours. Long. Okay. Oh, that does say Yamaha on it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I got you. Okay. And then that's a brand new uh, battery charger. Okay, down in here. It was put in about three months ago. Okay. Now, I, I, I'm i sorry, I didn't catch what you said a minute ago. Tell me how many, uh, th this takes... Uh, uh, keeps up with the hours yeah. on the outboard, and what do you did you tell me it was? It has about, about nine hundred hours. Nine hundred hours. Okay. We had the thousand mile uh, service done okay. about nine months ago. Okay, that's yeah. great. Now I'm looking out towards the bow up here, and up here you can you got your steps to take you out to here, and I can see you've got it looks like a brand new uh, windlass to help help bring up the anchor line. That's a cast Okay. And it was put on about three months ago. Okay. And it has a switch built into the floor. On the floor down here. So when you want to bring the anchor up, you just kind of let it do its thing. The anchor is a fortress and okay. with a chain and line. Yep. It's brand new. You can see it's still on a ball. Right. Okay. And then the actual anchor line that the boathouse put in. Okay. Uh, now let me let me get. I'm gonna take a look at your roof up here. Can you tell me what a typical cruising speed would be? Between six, seven, and eight knots. Six, seven, and eight knots. Okay. So you're not gonna water ski behind it, no. but you are gonna make make way. And if you're out for a uh, a cruise and you're doing some traveling, you can travel uh, travel about the speed of some of these uh, freighters and so forth. Yeah. It'll do trawler speeds. Trawler speed. That's it good. Won't, it won't go up into the into <clears throat> the teens. Now I all, see over here. There's like a skylight. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, and I can see where the hatch is up in the back there. So, uh, and then you got your nav lights here, red, right, return, and there's your other one over there. The antenna, and then you have your antenna. That's for your uh, VHS uh, right. marine radio there. All righty. Well, we'll take some more looks at the boat here, but this is uh, pretty unique. I want to get some shots of the outside of this as well. But uh, this is very well thought out. Uh, from what I understand, the, de the developer or the guy that designed this was a noted uh, marine uh, architect, and he had worked on all kinds of boats and ships and so forth. And, and one of the things is when he retired to Washington State, he, he worked up in Maine, but when he went to Washington State, the boat that he b bought to use in his retirement was this boat. It's one yeah. of his, his favorite designs. Yeah, he liked the design. And you said it has a flat bottom to it. It's very stable. And, uh, and when you're underway, um, it's going to give you the stability you want when you're, when you're cruising to be comfortable. It has a keel down the middle. So okay. the early boats didn't have a keel and they were hard to handle. This okay. handles just fine. That's great. All righty. Well, I, we're going to take a couple uh, minutes here and look at uh, some of the shots here from outside, and uh, we'll have you start the motor for us, too. Okay. Thank you.